previously on Super Minecraft. It was a magical day in the land of heroes. Sly was going to marry Katie, the love of his life. That was until Kayla challenged Katie to a duel to the death. Kayla emerged victorious. However, since she was considered a murderer at that point, she was put on trial and sentenced to work off her debts to society. What do I have in store for her? Find out today on this episode of Super Minecraft. Hey guys, Afmao here and welcome to Super Minecraft. It's been a long time since I last had to go on trial and I just want to let you guys know that was intense. I had not made a very good decision, I don't think. However, I have faith that Kayla is going to restore my faith in her. So let's go ahead and start off by doing something a little bit more relaxed and I'll talk more about what I feel about last episode and explain a few things for those of you who haven't uh, exactly deducted what happened in the last episode. So yeah, I will get into that in a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that of course are going progressively very well in Asgard. First off, we had Phil the Baker come over. Phil, Chef Phil Ramsey, you know, Chef Phil Ramsey. We had that guy come on over and let me see, my teleporter doesn't see, oh, now it's, let's see, it's working, but it's just doing like some do dilly dally it's not kind of going thing. Let's see. Uh, I believe the frequency is 69. Let's give that a shot. There we go. Ah, there we go. All right. So now we are back in Asgard. And as you all remember, we had the lovely uh, Phil the Baker come on over, or Phil Chef Ramsay. And he, of course, got a title upgrade. And not only did he get a title upgrade, our entire kitchen here got a lovely upgrade. Take a look at that. Now, I still need to work on the lighting here. However, the kitchen is ready. As you can see, Chef Phil Ramsay, the baker, is now here and he is just he loves his new kitchen let me tell you look at the amount of love he's got for me it's not like a bajillion right now but this guy is just he is like so cool with me right now oh, he's he's just so cool with me right now so chef phil ramsey he's got a lovely kitchen to work with look at that he's got his lovely little rack of pots and pans and mixing bowls he's also got a set of Fancy plates, some cake, some tea sets for whenever I need tea for writing my fanfiction because honestly I love to have my cup of chamomile tea, as cliche as that sounds. We also got some beer going on in here and of course our lovely little fruit and spice rack and just a bunch of nice little things. I still have to work on the lighting like I said, however this kitchen is just Beautiful. It is a chef's dream and chef Phil Ramsey the baker is incredibly happy. Let's give him a high five. High five! Yeah, that guy's all about high fives. He's he's not as he's not as um violent violently spoken as his other counterpart. And of course, when something is ready and ready to be taken out, we have this little desk bell right here that he could ring. And of course, no kitchen is complete without its walk-in freezer. I feel like I'm like on the price is right and showing off like these new things. Uh, but yes, we have a lovely little walk-in freezer here where we keep all of our stuff. I'm going to be moving my papa's chest over to this little refrigerator here because there's no reason for me to have a papa's chest with a kitchen in Asgard. Papa's is pretty much uh, food in Spanish. But we have a bunch of barrels. We can open that act as chests. And of course, we have our refrigerator over here. And I've already moved Move some stuff but I haven't moved everything completely so yes the kitchen in Asgard aside from the lighting is completely complete and of course I can get all of my meals here for free and we know that this is done but I'm thinking about bringing some more villagers into the kitchen at the moment though I am not allowed to set foot anywhere near the village because there's something being going there's something going on over there something being uh, worked on and I'm not allowed to go look at it or set foot near it nor is anybody else but uh, for the time being let's go ahead and talk about what happened before now you all know the chicken Fred the lawyer was kind of I know boomy I know Fred the lawyer was kind of toasted in the last episode. Well, that wasn't Fred, honestly. And this apparently is Fred. Um, there were two chickens in the courtroom that day, and it was like Fred's evil twin or something. So this is Fred the lawyer. And I brought him out. Fred, Fred, no, 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 that's... Please don't turn out to be like Murphy, Fred. Murphy, 
Murphy had to be tied up, Fred, and I don't want you to be tied up either because of running away and stuff like that. But anyway, I've actually got a name tag for Fred, and I don't have a name tag on me, but I do have a bunch of name tags here. So we're going to give Fred uh, a little name tag because he's a very good lawyer. He won the case for Kayla with the help of cats, and um, he just deserves to be to have a name tag, honestly. So we're going to put this as, a, let's see, Fred the Chicken Lawyer. There we go. All right. Fred the chicken lawyer. We got... Where do you... Fred? Oh, God. <laughs> he scared... He scared me a lot. All right, so we got Fred the chicken lawyer here. And Fred, I want you to get associated with Murphy for a little while. Um, let me grab some uh, some stuff here to create a lasso real quick. I, I just... I, I've had Murphy get lost before, and I found him in a very uh, not nice place. So I don't want that to happen to Fred. Um, he's gonna wander off. Because I have that chunk loader here, of course. So you can only imagine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, no, no. Get up, Fred. Seriously, Fred. Fred, just, just come over here. Fred. Alright, so I'm gonna put these guys right here. Uh, you guys, you guys get along. Fred the Chicken Lawyer and Murphy, you guys, uh, get along. And I need to go and do something. So first off, in the last episode, if you haven't concluded, Kayla has joined Super Minecraft. Um, we have had some allusion to her. However, she finally came in. And honestly, I am so super excited. Because one, it's a new person. Two, it's a new lady person. And of course, Sly has some boobage. But come on, let's, let's face it, it. It's really awesome to have another lady here. So... But that being said, she's also a murderer. So I have to treat her like a murderer, which we're going to make her a room today in um, in the hall because she, of course, needs a room. I have no idea where she's going to stay. I don't know if she's going to be staying with... Uh, I don't think she's going to be staying with Sly. I don't think she's going to be staying um, out in the open. And, of course, if you all remember, Caster had a nice little place to go to. So I want to make sure that at least, even though she's a murderer, she's treated somewhat fairly and gets a nice little room in the Hall of Justice. So that's what I'm going to be working on a little bit today. And uh, we got to get that going. So I'm going to go take a look at the hall right now. We're going to go see, and uh, remember, we're not going to go past the village. We're going to go see exactly where we can put her room at. And of course, we don't want to give her, well, this is my room. We don't want to give her like the best accommodations, accommodations, but we want to give her like something nice. So we have Caster's room here, which if you remember, it actually only expanded out to this little area right here. There was nothing after this, but he came in and of course moved in. So I think it was actually a little bit small. Yeah, let's see. So we had a little bit going on here, but now uh, I don't think Caster wants a murderer living next to him, but I will take that bed um, if that bed actually existed. I guess. So let's put that away. Uh, but yeah, so I don't think Caster wants to live next to a murderer. So let's fill up the opposite side of the of the little hall here. So we have this little room right here, which is actually a very nice room. So she needs a door and, uh, you know, a few starter items. Nothing, Like I said, nothing fancy because, uh, you know, murderer, we don't want any, well, at least until she proves herself to, this, to the group of heroes. I know Caster had a good time proving himself but this is going to be a little bit harder. At least I would assume it would be. I, I hope I did a good job as a judge and, you know, kind of brought the hammer of justice down hard upon those in my courtroom. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how things get done. All right. So I think this is a good enough room. Uh, yeah, we, we just might make the, you know, walls a little bigger so we can see what she's up to. Going to need some stone to come in here. And there's like some monsters around here, which I don't think is a bad idea let's see yeah she's 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 already got a set of diamond armor so I mean we, we should actually probably do something about that but we'll, we'll get into the logics of how that's going to pl play out later so um I don't know if, yeah Sly's not gonna know that she has a room here but I'm probably gonna let him know later on so for now let's go ahead and make this room accommodating um let's see so we want to go ahead and Bring this right here. Let's get some iron bars. Some quick iron bars. Uh, let's see, where did I put those? We got a door here. We also got a bed and a nice little chest with a furnace. And that's, no, 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 no we're not gonna give her. No, nah, we're just gonna give her the bed and the door. The bed and the door, and then 
some iron bars right there there we go okay so there we go we got a nice little room for Kayla, we got a nice little place where she can come in, where she can go to sleep, uh, we can keep an eye on her, it's not too cozy, actually, actually this is a little bit too cozy in my opinion. Um, I'm starting to second guess my ability as a judge to really bring the hammer of justice down, so what we're gonna do right now, because I just had a great idea. What we're just gonna do right now is we're gonna make this room a little less accommodating. You know, like, like, until, you know, maybe, maybe... Maybe this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a trial by fire, and I, and I lit- Whoa. Whoa, that was a little scary. We're gonna do a trial by fire, and- And I literally mean that. We're gonna do, like, a literal trial by fire. So let me see. Uh, exactly where can I find this right here? Um, there we go, nether rack. Um, let's see. We also have the, uh... I can- I can actually make one. Um, I need a flint and steel. That's what I need. So, okay, so I got some steel, or some iron. I don't know why it's- I guess iron is- Anyway, we got some flint and steel, we got some netherrack. Alright, so let's let's really bring the hammer of justice. Um, Fred didn't do such a great job. I mean, he did a good job of getting her off the hook, but he didn't do a great job of, of minimizing the punishment. Because if, 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 if I wanted the punishment to be minimal, I would leave the room like this. But I, I want the punishment for... I, I, you know, I don't want people here to second guess my ability as a judge. So what we're gonna do... So we're gonna take that bed out. Uh, we're actually gonna put it like right there. Um, so we're really, we're really gonna, we're not gonna give it easy. We're, we're not gonna do this easy. We're not gonna do this easy at all. All right, so there we go. All right, so now that we have a lovely room, uh, well, not a not so lovely room anymore. Now that there's big old holes in it, we're gonna put this place, uh, you know, make it, make it very, make it very hot. Make it very, make it very hot. Make it very nice. Um, there we go. So she'll have a bed that she can go to, but it's not gonna be a nice room. Again, I don't want people to to think that I'm I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm too nice of a judge. Then we're gonna have too many murders being committed. Too many things. All right, there we go. All right, yeah, yeah. This this looks this looks about right. Yeah, this this is definitely about right. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. This this is a good place for um. Yeah, I, I I'm a good judge. Yep. Good punishment. Alright, so not only does she have to prove herself, but she has a room that's very hot and uncomfortable. Um, she's gotta, she's got she's gotta learn how to, how, to, how to live with that for now. Not gonna, not gonna give it, not, nope. Because it, it, it wouldn't be the same for Caster. If he did the same thing, I would do the same, exact same thing for him. Uh, let's see, what, what, the last finishing piece. Um, alright. Finishing piece is, I should say. Uh, let's come over here. Go to the hall. Um, and come over into here, bring this over here, alright, so, now we put the last finishing touch on this room, um, room for Kayla, trial by fire, judge FR, there you go, alright, done. Alrighty, so we have a very accommodating room here, and I think it looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a good judge. Alrighty, guys, well, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Super Minecraft. Be sure to tune in next time as we'll be making more progress on Asgard. And remember, if you enjoyed this episode, and if you think this room is really cool, it's not, be sure to leave a comment down below. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye bye.